Hi, how are you guys doing? This is Jonathan. Today we're going to feature this guitar from Ernie Ball Music Man. This is the Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray RS in Ghostwood.
If you're new to this channel, you might just want to subscribe to this channel and press the bell for notification of future videos to follow and also be part of the patrons to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I want to thank Clement from Guitar77 Plus for passing me his guitar for review. This is an amazing guitar. All right, I thoroughly enjoy myself playing this guitar for this review. This is the Stingray RS from Ernie Ball Music Man. And this finish is called Ghostwood. Grayish, a bit of a sparkle. If you look closely, I think there's some sparkles in there. Nice. And I think the highlight of it is this uh, uh, figured roasted maple neck. Really nice. This is something that uh, I always uh, connect with Ernie Ball Music Man because they have really nice necks, you know. Um, well, of course, you're gonna pay a bit extra for this, but you know, it's yeah, it's really well done. Anyway, this is an Akume body with a high gloss polyester ghost wood finish. Again, this features a figured maple neck, a figured roasted maple neck with a Indian rosewood uh, fretboard. You have the Ernie Ball uh, compensated uh, nut. This, like I said, I'm not too sure about this. This material is kind of proprietary to them. Uh, today, even though I and I own the Luke. Two, I still have no idea what the material is. Anyway, you have a 10 inch fretboard uh, radius. These are stainless steel jumbos, really nice with white dot markers. And uh, this is really nice. The figured, yeah, the figured neck is really nice. The iconic uh, Ernie Ball Music Man uh, headstock with, you know, four on one side, four and two. Really nice. No string tree, best part. You have this uh, windmill truss rod here. Uh, adjustment so you don't have to take off the neck or do anything really nice you have a three-way pickup selector and a volume and a tone that's it so this bridge is the music man uh, modern tremolo with a vintage bent steel saddles right here right really nice it stays in tune perfectly uh, guitar came in actually with, um, with it all flush I kind of floated it a bit uh, so it plays a little bit better you know for me uh, you have a three ply white pick guard. For the pickups, we have a pair of uh, Music Man uh, custom wound uh, Anico 5 humbuckers. They are really nice. Uh, really nice sounding. I, I like them a lot. And in case I forget, these tuners are locking tuners from Shela. Really nice. Right. Cool. Uh, Alright, so you have the back plate right here, the iconic. Back plate from any ball music man. This back plate is really, really uh, useful because this is something that I, I, I really like because it, I found that it actually works. Um, having a long screwdriver right in, I can actually adjust the tension of the spring for the tremolo system. Really, really useful. Now, apart from what you have seen so far, this is like any typical any ball guitars uh, that I've reviewed so far, and I love the Ernie Ball Music Man guitars. They are really well made, uh, sustains really, really good. You know, this guitar has so much sustain. Um, pickups are really wonderful, playing, you know, easy in the neck. Um, you have the same, it's very subtly done in a rover, you know, so you don't feel any like sharp edges. The tremor system is such a joy to play, really comfortable, depending on how much you float it. Um, easy. Easy. 10, 10 inch fret radius. I'm not too sure about this uh, neck profile, but it's the same as the one I have in Luke. The asymmetrical uh, kind of a neck that is easy on the hands. Easy to play. I, I just enjoy myself playing this guitar so much. So again, I want to thank Clement for passing me his guitar for a review and for you know the, the opportunity to play it. Um, guitar is available in Guitar 77 Plus, so if uh, you're in Singapore, just call Clement up, make an appointment and give this a try. Um, let me know what you think about this guitar and leave a comment in the comment section down below, I want to hear from you. I think this guitar uh, is quite soft because I've been looking around for rev on Reverb and Sweetwater and apparently these are like, out of stock. So this is apparently a pre-love um, guitar but it's so well maintained, there's no no marks or scratches that I can see you know it's really well maintained um, maybe some um, you know some uh, the discoloration on the nickel uh, fretboard just a little bit everything is like really really well kept and well maintained 
And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, press the bell for notification of future videos to follow. Be part of Patreon to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I want to thank all my patrons for the wonderful love, the wonderful support. Thank you so much, guys. Um, I will be busy in this couple of days because I have some work to do. But as, as soon as I'm done, I'm back again on this channel. So in the meantime, take care of yourself and uh, be good. God bless. Ciao.